Okay, my god team, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning into today's video. We're going to be doing a little short update on Bitcoin today, a little analysis on the short term, and obviously taking a look at the macro now that the CPI numbers are close to coming up. Before you get into today's video, I do want to draw your attention to the pinned comment down below. Go ahead and click the link to join our Telegram channel. You can get access to daily market updates, uh, analysis, whole range of other information so you never miss uh, on what is going on in the market again. And if you're interested in VIP trading signals, you can go ahead and contact me directly to get access to our VIP trading channel where we post daily market exclusive updates, altcoin analysis, altcoin trading signals, and a whole range of information, including direct message access to myself. Now, before we get into today's video, we do need to announce the winner of the week one giveaway is in fact Muhammad. Congratulations, mate, you have a winner. Um, now, we talked about this at the end of the video. I put a little snippet at the end of the video showing you how I actually selected Muhammad to be the winner. So if you're interested in finding out what process I use to select the random winner, you can go ahead and watch that at the end of the video. And of course, Muhammad, to claim your $100 prize, all you need to do is come up here, click that link to contact me, and we'll have to do some verification uh, to make sure you are in fact you, to make sure your identity is you and is not someone making a fake account claiming to be you. Okay, let's go ahead and dive right into the video. So yesterday's video, we talked a lot about the short-term Bitcoin. We talked about how if we got rejected, from this gray box over here, we'd expect a move downwards. And our target was this, this high volume range over here. There's 20,900 range. I think it was up over here. We can go ahead and circle over here. 20,900, you can see we reached that target initially and we've broken down since clearing this gap, pushing into this higher volume range, which leads us up into this major support zone coming into this uptrending diagonal support. Now. I don't think Bitcoin is going to crash automatically down here. I think we might see a bit of uh, support within this range. Of course, we have a lot of support between where we currently are now at, at $20,500 and $22,000, or sorry, $20,200. And if we lose $20,200, we will come down and retouch the support line. Now, we're going to go ahead and talk about the large time frame of Bitcoin, because at the moment, guys, the large time frame is quite important. And we would already notice, guys, that the price has closed another candle unfortunately, below the 200-day moving average, which is looking exceptionally bearish. It's not looking too good. And we talked about how we do need to reclaim that 200-day moving average on the weekly for us to start kicking in that bullish momentum again and start reclaiming some of these higher levels, including this downward trending diagonal resistance zone, these two dotted lines. If we get back above these two dotted lines, which we can see we got heavily, heavily rejected on from two doji candles, talked about in yesterday's video, we will see a move back up to 28,000. But we did identify we had this massive, massive resistance range sitting right over there, 21,700, 21,600, projecting us back down. Now, the next logical target, guys, will be that 20,400 range, which we're currently sitting on. We see there's a little bit of bump in resistance over here, a little bit of bump in trading volume, and then we have this gap all the way back down to 19,200, represented by the upper resistance of this gray resistance zone or support zone. So what is happening on the short term right now, guys? We can expect the price to continue downwards until we get any sign of reversal. We don't have any sign of reversal yet. All that we have right now is we know that price is entering a high volume range, a zone that has provided some support and resistance and um, structure in the price over the last few months. So look at the price right now. I don't expect us to see, you know, these huge, huge crashes again like these, you know, these huge flooded crashes. I would expect the price to slowly drag along here for a bit, maybe come down a little slower and then move around. Now, if we do push really, really quickly to the end or the bottom of this range, that would be a bit of a shock. It is possible, but it'd be a bit of a shock. I think there's a possibility we move back upwards to retest that 20,900 range, get rejected and then head down first. But again, the short term is irrelevant right now. The short term was relevant yesterday when we were up over here and we were saying we're going to break downwards from this pattern. We're going to head downwards. That's when it was relevant right now. We're in the middle of a range. And what I mean by that is we're in the middle between this upper resistance, this dotted line. All right, we're closer to the support now than we are to that upper resistance. So your risk reward ratios are off right now. If you're shorting right now, you're doing it wrong. Your short should have been taken yesterday when we were telling you you're going to crash over here, okay? So you're doing it wrong. Right now is the time to be waiting. Wait for the next move. Wait for this short-term pattern uh, to develop because it hasn't really developed anything yet. We're just kind of dropping. Wait for it to develop a pattern. Uh, see what the pattern is and then trade based off that pattern. That would be my best advice for now. Let's go ahead and take a little larger time frame because obviously we've closed another candle underneath the 200 day moving average, which is incredibly bearish. It's not a great thing, guys. We do need to reclaim the 200 day moving average. I've been telling you for a very long time. You know, obviously this nine year trend line is a massive support and it's going to remain a huge, huge support and will most likely 
act as a as a as a bottom or a local bottom for Bitcoin, which we saw a 25% pump from guys. 25% pump is not an insignificant amount. It really did do exactly what we told you, which was going to act as a major support, and it did that. Now the question is, will it drop below? And obviously, with the CPI numbers coming out soon, and I've told you already, it's hard to say for sure until we actually get that data. When we get that data, then the market will adjust. We'll be able to adjust our analysis and then predict what's going to happen. Until we get that, we have to assume this will be the bottom. Now, we did talk about uh, the possibility of a drop to 16,500, and I think that is still on the cards. I think a short-term drop to 16,500, we can see our red line is still over here, is a definite possibility. Of course, if we lose this uptrending support line over here, we would have a pretty significant measured move drop from this level downwards to about 16,500, where we could find temporary support over here and then push back upwards and then clear that resistance zone, making a move back past this upper range and into that $28,000 range. I think that is a possibility too. I think right now, guys, best thing to do is play it safe, uh, wait it out, and don't act until the 13th or after the 13th. It's only a few days away now, so the 11th here in Australia, so about 48 hours away, we should find out what is going on with the economy, how's it looking, and how that could uh, translate into the charts. Okay, guys, um, that's about it for today's video. I wanted to keep it nice and short and sharp. I didn't really want it to go over anything else. I think that's about it. Uh, like I said, I'm not feeling the best today. I'm feeling a little bit run down, a little bit sick, so I don't want to drag it out too much, um, but we should be back with a full analysis when I'm feeling a bit better, okay? Um, with that being said, guys, we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers. Okay, guys, we're going to be taking a quick look at BitGet, and now BitGet is where I personally trade. I highly recommend signing up to BitGet with the link down below. BitGet is probably the best exchange out there if you are a trader. It has a variety of features, and the best things about BitGet are a few things. Number one, it's non-KYC. Well, KYC is completely optional in BitGet. Now, there's a whole variety of exchanges out there nowadays that have gone completely centralized, sharing your personal trading information and information of decentralized uh, governments and different governing bodies. BitGet allows that option to be left to the individual, to the user of the exchange. You can decide to non-KYC. You can decide to KYC. It's completely your choice. Another really beneficial thing about BitGet and the biggest reasons why I, I'm sitting here actually recommending BitGet to all my, all my followers is that it has 0.02% trading fees. All right? This is significantly lower than any other cryptocurrency trading exchange out there. FTX, Binance, can name a bunch more, KuCoin. It is significantly lower, by 500% lower than the lowest exchange out there, Binance. Um, another big thing, guys, is there's no global restrictions on who can use BitGet. Anyone from anywhere can sign up to BitGet and get access to the entire exchange of all the tools, whether it be Futures or Spot. No matter which country you're in, you can use Futures and Spot. If you're in America, for say, and you want to get access to more Spot trading pairs, such as Binance Global, and you can't sign up, well, guess what? They've got 250 different Spot trading pairs here on BitGet to get access to, and you can get access to all of these. If you're in Australia and you want to access the futures market and you can't trade futures, you can do it here on BitGet. You can get access to the future market and start trading with leverage. And finally, guys, if you do want to sign up to BitGet, go ahead, click that link down below to sign up to BitGet and you'll get access to the reward center over here, which enables up to $4,000 in rewards by completing five tasks. All right, guys, we'll get back to the video. Thanks for listening to that. Okay, guys, I want to take a quick moment to introduce the Become a Trader course at the end of this video. This course was designed by myself and Wolves of Crypto. We put together a whole variety of knowledge to create the most cohesive, understandable, and beneficial trading course there is on the market. If you're interested in learning how to become a trader, if you're interested in learning how to use technical analysis, if you're interested in learning how to apply market analysis to different cryptocurrencies, this is a course for you. We teach you everything from the fundamentals, the basics about what cryptocurrency is, how to trade cryptocurrency, mastering the craft of cryptocurrency, diving into a whole range of technical indicators, market structures, and teaching you how to utilize these when finding trades and applying risk management strategies to become more profitable over time. We even dive into market psychology, human psychology, and provide a variety of different videos and educational content, including courses and quizzes to assist your learning along the way. If this is something you're interested in, guys, go ahead and contact us down below at the Crypto Academy Courses at gmail.com. We'll send you an email back with all the course information, the structure, the payment details, and everything else you need to know. That being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video today, and we'll catch you in the next one. Okay, guys, so we're going to announce our winner of the giveaway, and we already did so at the start of the video, but we're going to show you how we actually came to that person. 
So we posted six videos, or sorry, five videos, one, two, three, four, five videos in the last week. We're going to go ahead and use a random number generator to select a random video. And of course, if you don't know already, uh, to enter the giveaway, all you need to do is comment on a random video within the week. And if that video gets selected and your comment gets selected, you're the winner of the giveaway. So we're going to go ahead and randomly generate a number. We have number one. So video number one was this one over here. I'm going to quickly pause the video to count up the amount of comments. Then I'll put the comments in the random generator over here and select the winner. One second. Okay, so I just finished counting. We had 72 comments. So we're going to choose a random number between 1 and 72. Generate. And we have number 17. Nice and easy right at the top. So we're going to go ahead and count that out. Number 17. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay. Muhammad, you are the winner, mate. Congratulations. All you need to do now to get your giveaway is go up to the message over here in the pinned comment, show more, click this over here. This is going to take you to my direct inbox on Telegram. We can sort out the transfer there and just need to make sure it is actually you. So we need to verify your identity in there um, and make sure you are commenting uh, and contact me from your uh, YouTube and you are in fact the winner. Okay. Congratulations, the next giveaway winner will be announced in exactly one week from now. Make sure you comment on all the videos. Be active on the channel, that's all it takes guys. Ask questions, let me know what you think. Just be active on the channel and you'll automatically be entered in the giveaway. Okay, thanks guys, we'll catch you in the next video.